What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Okay, how's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well. Well, as far as you see, you see that pretty face right there. Please visit me at, uh, I gotta make, I gotta tell you guys something. My Instagram is, uh, now my workout, basically, motivational channel. But, uh, back to Jonathan Goodluck here. He's wondering how they can afford to throw away so much money. But I keep telling him, man, this is Kuwait. And we're talking Kuwait, because guess what Kuwait's doing? You'll find out in four, three, two, one, now. Kuwait, the official Kuwaiti airline is is basically they hate Jewish people so much they 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 ditched uh, the the Korean airlines ditched killed uh, the New York to London flight and let me tell you people something that's a very lucrative flight for airlines going from New York to either airport going to London either Gataway or uh, Heathrow and there's gonna be a third airport opening in London pretty soon Ask me how I know. But uh, back to lecture. Damn. Kuwait Airlines killed the flight. Despite the despite the American officials, you know, just, you know, they, they they did it despite American officials who threatened to pull the airline's permit to fly to the United States if they continue discriminating against Israeli passengers. But the official airline's policy is they cannot allow it on the plane because the Middle Eastern country Kuwait Kingdom Kuwait prohibits the citizens from doing business with citizens of the Jewish state. Now, and as of, as of December fifteenth, they alerted they alerted the State Department that they will be eliminating service between JFK and London Heathrow. Now, what gets me is the airline has twice refused to let customers with Israel, Israeli passports buy tickets on flights to from New York to London. Because of the Islamic State's ban on trade with Israel, but politicians here, but here we go again. Politicians they try to push the feds into canceling the airline's permit, so they couldn't fly either way into or out to. They just give them a permit. You can't do anything. But uh, here, here's but it gets me is they are so anti-Semitic. They would rather cancel flights that's very lucrative to where the airports you're going to. Then provide service to Israeli passport holders. They got money. I mean, if you're flying from JFK well, to to Heathrow, that's that's money right there. That's that's cash on the dollar. But like I said, they are so anti-Semitic. They would rather cancel the flight of Jews going to going to London. You know, and it's um, what's crazy is they 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 don't have any gratitude over there in that country, cause I mean, cause Israel, in a way, help was one of the ones that helped Kuwait. Like whenever we went over there with old man Bush, Israel had a hand in helping Kuwait. You know, we liberate. I mean, there were Jewish soldiers who helped liberate Kuwait you know but I mean the airline will still run from, the, from it like to New York to Kuwait for JFK but the problem is the, the feds can't do nothing about that because you're going straight to Kuwait and if you, and if you, if you I mean you can't tell them you can't ban them because you're going to that country and if you did put Israelis on there it'd be a it'd be a, it'd be a political nightmare but uh, what got me is it's just crazy that like what gets me is the guy there's a guy suing him and he, he doesn't want to drop the suit but let me tell you something you're not going to get any money out of Kuwait that's not getting money out of Israel the kingdom has so much money that they can make him let that thing sit in court forever and a day but that just, that just shows you who some of our friends in the Middle East are they were so adamant in not allowing Israel, any Israeli, any Jewish person, on that plane that they would rather cancel the flight from JFK to Heathrow. So, 
that just just shows you the type of people we're messing with, and the type of type of type of coalition that we have. I mean, it's just crazy, crazy, folks. I just wanted to just touch upon that, and how do you feel about it? I mean, I guess it goes with the saying, "He who has the goal makes the rules." So, I guess so. Have a good one, folks, and peace.